Hey everyone, I hope you guys had a good Thanksgiving. I hope your family members didn't tilt you by asking you really annoying questions. <laughs> so basically, um, a little while ago, Majin Bay posted a deck on Twitter. It's not really my style of deck, but I think it's good to play this type of stuff at least once to get a feel for other types of decks and to at least be able to play against them better. I was originally trying to play some other decks, um, but I didn't have too long today because it was Thanksgiving. And I kind of got annoyed and I was thinking that, wait, this deck probably would beat a lot of what I was playing against. Um, and I was right. So it's a pretty like normal failure control deck, but it uses like the Ionia tools for some uh, pretty good like stall to be able to get to the late game of playing Field of Rush. So Adverse and Sentry is a really good unit that you can play early that will also block and draw you one. It's a really good control card. Three Sisters is really versatile. I've talked about this a lot of different times. I love this card. Um, but the Flash Freeze is really nuts in this deck against like Lee Sin, Sedge, like a lot, Scion, a lot of different decks you just really want to be able to have that versatile freeze. But Fear of the North sometimes can be useful, not as much in this deck, maybe pushing the extra little bit of damage. But the Entomb can also be really good to just take something off the board for a couple turns. And yeah, just its versatility makes it so important. And Face of the Old Ones is really good. They buff the actual health to 3, which is um, pretty awesome because now it doesn't die to Ravine. And if you behold an A plus cost card, which there's a, a few of them, mainly you just feel the rush and and Mina, then you get an extra mana gem. You don't really care about getting this early too much, you only really need it by like turn 7, right? So then instead of turn 8, you go to turn 9 to play Field of Rush. The one Ice Veil Archer is just pretty good, again, freezes are really good in this meta, but it can also be used kind of early just to, like to not die and take a bunch of damage. Really good against Poppy, just pretty solid card. Tavern Keeper is awesome in the control deck, uh, failure at least, because then it's like a 3-3 blocker, which is a good stat line, can block fearsome, stuff like that can trade with most cards and still survive because of the three health and healing you three or healing like one of your um, champions three or something like that is just really good yeah ravines you kind of need them in a control deck a failure control deck at least what's also really cool is that because it's um a landmark and it happens at the end of the turn this actually beats basically all buff spells because if they add like a twin or anything like that unless it's, unless it's healing them back up to like above two health if they only have one or two health then the buffs won't work because it'll be after the round ends, so all the buffs go away, and then it will kill them. It also heals you too, which is pretty awesome. Yeah, Palm, really good card. Stuns something, but then also gives you a unit. Kind of like Sentry. Just really good for stalling out the game. I was kind of scared when I saw three denies. I don't think they're that good, and I experimented with actually dropping this and adding one Catalyst, but it never really felt like it mattered that much. So, I mean, it's kind of up to you guys, but I was thinking 3 deny might be a little much. I think 2 might be fine. And then if you were going to add an extra card, I wouldn't really know exactly what to put in. Probably another Catalyst. And then you got Will. Will is actually pretty good in this meta, I think. It being back to 4 mana is pretty solid. So, it's good against a lot of the meta. It's good against, like, Scion. Like, if they play Scion 7 and you just Will it, they can't play another Scion and attack with it until 9, right? Which is <laughs> which is when you're playing Field of Rush and stuff like that, or Mina to re recall it back again. And it's also better than like a stun against GP Sedge, which isn't that bad, like stunning them is fine. But if you will, they have to replay all that mana again, which is really good. And it's especially good against, obviously, more expensive cards. Catalyst heals you three and ramps you, gives you an extra mana gem. Super important to being able to get to the late game really fast and play Field of Rush. Trundle, yeah, if you have a Face of the Old Ones activated early, or a Catalyst, then Trundle can be played on turn four, which is really nuts. He also activates your Face of the Old Ones um, by default because once you play him you get an ice pillar which costs eight as soon as you play this face of the old ones becomes activated so scattered pot is a really cool card i haven't really experimented with until this deck it's really a versatile card and when you get to like the enlightened which is pretty easy in this deck because of the ramp and stuff and the stall it gets elusive which can actually help you like close out games and get some damage in but usually you just play this for the effect so you're able to draw a slow fast or burst speed spell so usually you're not taking burst unless you really want to try to get like a three sisters or a flash freeze but technically you could get like a catalyst that also could be why he only runs two catalysts by the way so you have a better chance of getting a freeze if you really need it it's also the same reason why you don't run avalanches so scatter pot if you want to draw the field of rush you just pick a slow but if you run avalanches then you're less likely or you're yeah you're not guaranteed to get field of rush which i think hurts the deck and this just helps it be more consistent i think to make it so you're getting like almost you have five field rushes right you have a really good chance to draw it then you got some champions just all the good like failure champions then you got mina swiftfoot 
Um, it's it's kind of awkward in my opinion because it, you play it on turn nine, which is usually when you want to play Field Rush. But this is a, just a really nuts card, especially against mid range decks. Being able to recall like a Swain Leviathan or a like Sejuani and Gangplank or the Boat on top of it, it really can just win you the games. By turn nine against most decks, if you recall three allies, they're not even going to be able to come close to, to being able to resummon them all for that much mana. They might be able to get like one down. So if you're defending on turn nine and they play a big card and you just will three of their cards back up to their hand, you kind of just lose the game. If you're on offense, then again, it's still pretty good because then you recall three of them, they have to replay maybe one if they have mana for it. And then again, you still have answers next turn, so this kind of helps you close up the games. And then they make the main card of the deck, Field of Rush. Yeah, this card used to be really annoying a long time ago. I started actually using it when um, it, people started playing it in GP Sedge. And although it is really annoying, it's a really like kind of fun card when you get to know <laughs> if you're not playing against it. It's just going to win you the game, right? You play two of these champions, which are going to give you Overwhelm. And it's not really my style of deck. I'm not really used to playing these types of decks, um, like control decks. So I don't think I'm necessarily the best person <laughs> to like learn from um, with this type of decks. But yeah, I just wanted to kind of learn myself and kind of get a feel for these types of decks. It helps you like play against them better. And maybe it'll help you guys too, as you kind of learn with me. And I think you guys might want to be aware of this deck if you haven't seen it already. I think it's just good to have like a vast knowledge of different decks because usually when you want to climb or play on a certain day, um, I like to give like a, a couple games, kind of see what the meta is like, maybe watch some streams, kind of see what they're playing against in Masters, and then you go, okay, a lot of people are playing blank deck, well what would be good against them, right? And so today, um, I didn't really want to play this deck, but I was playing against a lot of slower decks and they're pretty annoying, trying to like use like flocks and stuff like that to kill my stuff, and I was like, well, Pretty sure if I just play this deck, I'm gonna smush them. And I think that's a lot of how you have to play ladder in this game. You just get a feel for what's being played that day, and then have a good enough knowledge of of matchups and a variety of different decks, so you can just whip one out whenever it like makes sense and it has good enough matchups into the majority of what you're gonna play against. Yeah, that's about it. Um, if you guys haven't subscribed already, I'd really appreciate it if you could subscribe. Maybe even like the video if you liked it. Everything helps out. If you want to see me play anything in the near future, you can leave a comment below. I make a Runeterra video every single day, so the extra ideas are definitely useful. And I hope you guys like it. Thanks. What are we playing against? Elise and Tia. Is that a deck that like wants to go? Usually I think of Elise, I think of Aggression. I think people have been using Elise to like play it in control decks kind of. Um, but TF is interesting. What if I just keep these for like getting rid of things? I almost wanted to keep Field of Rush, but I feel like I don't want to, you obviously don't want to double draw it, so I guess kind of, there we go. Yeah, I was going to say, I hope I draw it by turn 9, but I don't need to draw multiple by keeping it in my hand. Come closer. I don't fight. I think I'm allowed to heal up. Oh no. I was gonna play at Bloody Ravine, but I'm kinda glad because then he would have killed this. Aren't I glad to take this bat or um this kill? Talk about your deck. I'm always up for a round or two. Okay. Soak it in. Choose to draw. I will heal. I maybe should have healed that guy. He doesn't have flocks though. Oh, I prune. 
Okay. He's playing just like, what, go hard? Hopefully he can't stun this. Fine. I ain't even worried about it. I pull the strings. Uh oh. That's kind of monka. Oh, we actually got a spider off of the fucking Rai Warden. That's actually crazy. That's actually crazy. That's actually nuts. Like what? They get to drag this if you want. Oh, he doesn't want it. Okay. Never lost a fair game. We play with eyes open. I don't really want to play Blighted Ravine. But maybe I should. Like, it stalls this, but I mean, it just kills this whole board. Like, you're gonna ping this now? Oh, shit, okay. Well fought. I mean, he was gonna do that regardless, right? Now his whole board's like dead. Yeah, we got some damage in. That'll help later, probably. That's probably go hard. If he tries to kill two of these, I think I do this. Blighted Ravine. I guess do it now, anyways. Yeah. Glimpse, fair enough. Now you have to pack your bags, but like, am I really worried about that? Let's kill the rush. Oh, I can't play this turn. So I, I forgot. I kind of want to play Sejuani, so I play two other different champions. But, um, I want to see if he's going to play anything else. Pain is oh, pack your bags actually can kill it now with the keg. Oh, I didn't think about that. Keep up, keep up. Damn it. Oh. I don't change fate, okay. but I can see it. Yeah, he'll get pack your bags next turn, I guess, but like it's whatever. So we only have two Sejuani, so we have to get a Chindamir and something else in Chundle, right? Yeah. And the cool thing is that Chindamir actually beats like Ruination, stuff like that. They can't ruin me. This doesn't have overwhelm yet, which kind of sucks. Yep. I refuse. Bow to your king. You got legs. Use them. Okay, this has regen, so we're chilling. He's at three. Packed him good. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I mean, I don't know what you're trying to do. He has so many little just shitty units. I mean, I, I guess I'd stun that just in case. Like, I'm kind of just... Oh, I guess I can't do my pillar then. I don't know why he's just still in the game. Yeah, I feel like if there's any hope of him being alive, I kind of want to stop that. Even though I'm pretty sure I'm still safe at 14. Yeah. 
That was pretty easy, I felt like. Do, 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 do. Oh no, do we get smoked by this deck? No, no one. I mean, I don't know if I'm supposed to keep Will, but... That's like not a bad answer to, um... Poppy, right? The challenger is pretty annoying. I don't even have an A-plus cost card. I think maybe I should have saved my um stun for Poppy. I could just will Zed, right? He does two more damage. Next turn he plays that again. I don't know. Oh, I got another one. The Yordle here is with me. That's a big good blooded ravine, I think. Unless he has a rally. Shit, I didn't think about rally. Fuck, I didn't think about Rally. Fuck, it's actually a really good Rally. Especially if he doesn't on Zed, I could lose the game. Oh, I shouldn't have just slammed this down. If he has like Relentless on Zed right here, I get blown out. Oh no. Oh, I should have played this last turn, man. Now Zed levels up. Oh no. No, I didn't think about it. I didn't. Oh no. Damn it. I could have played this and I would have blocked the Zed. And then it would still die. This wouldn't even die, huh? Now if he has like a buff, he like can kind of win. Damn it, man. If I at least played this, I could go for that risky play. And then Zed would, wouldn't level up, so he'd for sure die at the end of the round. I just did it too fast. Ah, damn it. Yeah, I would have took um, three less damage, and he was, Zed would be dead right now. One damage? Sure. Ah, man, I really wish I played that. Although, I wouldn't have been able to do what I did this turn, huh? I mean, it would have been still better off. Because it'll be dead. When I had to stun it in the first place. Oh, I'm so close to Field of Rush. What the hell? I just had to survive this turn. I had to survive this turn without tapping under. You already used one rally, right? But they usually run like six rallies, so I don't know if I can play around that. Um, I wonder if some versions have been changing it. 
Now this strikes me as a rally play. Ah, shit. I think we just go for it then, and hope we get the overwhelmed ones. If we get both overwhelmed ones, I think we're fine. If we get Trundle though, we're kind of fucked. Fuck! Yeah, so much cards and mana, this is such a risky play. Uh, maybe I should have played like Tendermere last turn, I don't know. Please no rally. Wouldn't you have rallied last turn if you had rally? Please, man. Okay. That's probably fine then. I mean, he doesn't even have rally, by the way, because didn't he have like two chances to do a crazy good rally? Not an amazing rally, I guess. No challengers, but. So if he goes for a bunch of buffs, we can freeze. Then f with 10 mana, we can will. Then we have six, we can do this. And oh, we can't. I think we're chilling. No pun intended. Aha. No one on sub. I'm sorry. I turned this music off, it's distracting. Yeah, he's messed up. And we have another freeze as well, and then we just attack next turn with infinite overwhelm. And we're bing chilling. I mean, kind of messed up that play earlier too and took a lot of damage. And it was still winnable, which is pretty good, I think. Alright. Liver. Auction. I mean, it is the Ionia version, but I think, like, wouldn't that deck just get, like, smushed? Um. I mean, if he has deny though, I'm kind of pissed off. Got it. What could you possibly do? Just pass your turn, thank you. I do not behold an 8-cost card. Who the fuck is this guy? Scores to settle, scores to kill. You know how it is. Scores to settle. These old eyes still see far and clear. Bro, this guy. Is this a genius or he just like... He can't go, okay, I have two attack, I have quick attack, so he has one attack. 
Tak. He figured it out. He figured out he's allowed to get two damage. What a boo boo beast. Ah, uh, maybe this guy is just from like Australia. And his ping is like 1000. Is he opening all AFK? Cause I'll fucking- I fucking won't. I'm down. I'm down to go a 30 minute game. I don't even care. You think I value my own time? Nah. Oh, look at me, I'm a vagabond. Not with her face. Off we go. Oh, what the hell, that's pretty lit. Because now you can give Akshan quicker. <laughs> um, hmm. I don't know, man. I do not know. Guy. I hope I don't lose this guy. That would be embarrassing. Oh, I got the pod. The podster. Mr. Pod. You can't be rallying. Um, I, least, I think they are. I can't even talk. I always think they're gonna rally. When I see like Akshan and Sivir. Oh, you can have Ghost though, which is kind of sketch, right? I don't attack with anything, I don't think. I might not uh, will that, so he doesn't get a lucky, lucky find. There's not much else to will, right? Step lightly. Let's talk about your death. Ready the torches. Look out for reavers. Ready the torches. Your attack is obvious. Auction levels. I kind of want a bit of a deny if he has one, because then I'm—I mean, I don't even have feel the rush. But if I do get it, I do not want it to be denied. Technically, could have like six to nine. Obviously, doesn't have six to nine, but he technically could, right? Being in those regions. Kind of monka. I mean, if you can be in deny though, you never go into right. And in this meta, I don't even think you run that many denies. Probably just like one, maybe two. Fixing the world one scoundrel at a time. Wooden scoundrel. You're a fucking scoundrel, bud. Light the signal. Oh. Go the rush. Oh, I thought that was a lucky find. Um, what's the plan here? 
next turn I'm gonna have seven plus three, right? So seven plus three, if I use, it's eight. If I use this for five, I still have three to bank and going into field rush. Maybe I want to field rush on my next attack on, I don't, I don't even care about using this. I wish this wasn't fleeting. I wish you could just use this whenever you wanted to and just have it. There's no really reason you couldn't do that, right? It's actually like worse to do that, but it'd be efficient in these times, I guess. I'm going to burn a mana. Could just heal. And if I didn't need to play that card, like, or whatever I did, will, I could have just played this and next turn under Field of Rush. I forgot that the faces will work now, right? Because of this. The next time I'm going up to 8. Yeah, so I, if I... Ah, oh, fuck. If I didn't will that... Just like blocked it. Quick hands make quick work. Well, I guess I'm just going to have to go wide. Because he's going pretty wide. Uh, instead of pod, because why? We can just do... A this. It probably, it probably doesn't die, but at least it, ah, fuck. Yeah, I don't think he protects the attack and the uh, defense, right? He probably just chooses. Ride onward. This one's on the house. So next turn, we're gonna have 12 mana. As long as we bank two, we're gonna be able to feel the rush on our next attack. And hopefully he doesn't have a deny or else he's pretty, pretty lame. But then we can just do this for another slow spell. I mean, that's kind of annoying actually, right? We can't do anything about it. I yeah, probably just shouldn't have attacked with that. I mean, I didn't expect them to run spirits, but I mean, it does make sense. They used to run that in in the Zed server, right? Okay, well, that's lame. I don't like that. We're probably just going to fill the rush anyways on our next attack anyway. Like, so I don't think this even really stalls us. Unless we don't have mana next turn to do what we want and play this after that. That's the only issue. We definitely should have played this at some point, probably. Um, I can't be ever correct to leave this in your hand the whole game, I don't think. If I probably went back, I probably would find a way that I was supposed to use this. Also, we did damage a total of zero times this game. You shouldn't have rally though, so this is his attack. I think we're chilling. We always have a freeze, like, to back up, so I think we just take blocks. And we're fine, right? I see everything. Yeah, that's fine to me. Fate is what I make. I don't know if I even care about Sejuani. Like actually. I mean, I kind of care about this freeze though. So I think I'll let this die. Because I, if I lose this freeze, I might get messed up later. I think I just take this. Cause I'm worried about him denying this and then me not having an answer 
I draw a fast spell, right? What do I have in my deck that's burn? I don't have my deck list here. I think it's always fast. Like will or stun. Yeah. Oh, it has a tune too. Yeah, yeah so we have a blocker. We're going to feel the rush. If he does have a deny in one of these three cards or the top deck, then it's kind of monka, but at least we'll still have like mana to do like two freezes, I think. Sand and trouble, far as the eye can see. Okay, don't deny. No deny. Wait, good, I think. Looks like I'm ready. Bye bye. Let's do it, big guy. I don't really want to have such one to die. Um. Here with this trundle, right? If I just pass. Plus, I give him more room to play more cards, right? He doesn't honestly have that much more um, cards for spells, but I feel like it's so close to dying. Come on, maybe they could attack with Tun Trundle, because you would need like two spells maybe to beat that. So now I have to wonder, this loses to Deny, this loses to, what, what, this is getting 1 so I'm at 13, we need to get this up to 7 again, isn't that pretty hard to do? I mean I just freeze it then, right, and I play around Deny, and then he doesn't have Deny, wouldn't he have denied my field of rush? I'm gonna try this freeze, but it's a bit scary because I think technically we already kind of put him on not having deny and this, he could easily have like twins and stuff. Honestly, this might be the more riskier play. Like he might be able to get this up to seven based on his hand. Yeah. We laugh at or it's stunning since we know he doesn't have deny. That's probably the correct play. Like what, that plus twin now, you lose? Oh shit, we're still alive. But yeah, I think in hindsight, I think um, we know he doesn't have deny, so it's just really bad to, and like, I don't know, I just felt like something was telling me that he had like deny all of a sudden, but it's, no, it's really bad to do that by the way. So like, even you guys probably already know that and you're probably fucking tilted at me doing that. <laughs> but for those of you who don't know, once he didn't deny my field rush, I'm supposed to know that he doesn't have Deny. The odds of him top decking Deny, I don't even know if he runs Deny in his deck. And if he does, the odds of him top decking it are extremely low. So I'm always supposed to just um, stun that. So he can't possibly um, win the game. Because that, he I could have lost a twin, twin right there. And he is very likely to be on Twin if he doesn't have Deny, right? So, yeah, I definitely uh, messed up. This is elusive. Um, I think we can just play this for now, see what we want to do. I'm gonna make a <laughs> One 
Yeah. Plus we could um still have Entomb this turn to be able to oh, I guess we can still stun this turn, right? In front of a blocker. We wanna be able to kill this overwhelm one though, so I think this makes sense. I don't really want him to give him another chance, but can I win this round? Or can I win this game? If I feel the rush, do I win the game? The calm before the storm. Cause I'll get what? Trendomir Trundle? Or Trendomir Sedge? That's a lot of damage. That is many damages. I go where the trouble is. It's never too far. This place reeks of rotten death. Smells like adventure and money, you mean? Yeah, we got him. Ah, uh, that didn't feel like the cleanest game, but I'm so I'm so glad we beat it. Um, yeah, I think I messed up a few different times there. Yeah, I definitely I'm definitely not used to playing control decks like this, but I've technically um, only played this so three times so far, and I've won every single one against the varying varying different decks. I think that speaks a lot for this deck.